What's up everybody, Ray Boyd here from Brotherly Love Sports. Uh, we're trying something new now, making videos to go along with the articles that we write here at Brotherly Love Sports. That way, if you don't have time to necessarily read the entire article, you can just watch the video, I'll break down whatever it is that I'm talking about. That way, it saves you a little bit of time and you can move on with your day. But anyway, the first article we're going to try this with, Sixers versus Celtics Game 1 Preview. Talk about the series a little bit and, and the matchup between these two teams. So make sure that you uh, you definitely read the entire article. But watch this video. I'll talk about my keys to the series, what the Sixers need to do to have a chance. The first key that I mentioned in the article, defend, defend, defend. The Sixers match up pretty well against Boston in terms of personnel. And they have to make sure that they defend. They were able to hold the Celtics to 86 points per game in their regular season matchups. That's going to be a key moving forward in this series against Boston. Make sure you get in their jerseys and make them uncomfortable. That attaches to my second key, which is make Rondo uncomfortable in particular. Rajon Rondo is the flow of that offense. When he's moving around and passing the ball, it's one of the most beautiful things in the game. Rajon Rondo does a great job of moving that Celtics offense along. you got to make sure that he's uncomfortable. Get after him. I expect Doug Collins to throw at least Three different defenders at Rondo. I think Evan Turner will probably start the game against him. Drew Holiday is going to get chances. Andre Godala is going to get chances. you got to make Rajon Rondo uncomfortable. Throwing multiple looks at him will do that. The next key, don't settle. It's easy to settle. You want a playoff series. You haven't done that since 2003, since I was a youngster watching Allen Iverson and the Sixers go out there. Don't settle. Just make sure that you're staying hungry. And you want to move on. You want to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Act like you've been there, even though you haven't. And make it clear to yourself and to the rest of the league that the Sixers are not about to settle for just winning a round in the playoffs. And then finally, ride Andre Godala. Let him know that you're confident in him. He had a great Game 6. I was in the building. It was electric. Coming down the stretch, he had the ball in his hands every single play and made a lot of smart decisions. His teammates, his coaches praised him after the game for his leadership and his poise. And what he did in that game is what stars do. Embrace this guy. Let him know that we're confident in him and that he can go forward and do great things leading this team. So those are my keys for the Sixers. In game one and going forward in this series, the Sixers are going to have to do those things to have a chance against Boston. So make sure you keep coming to Brotherly Love Sports. We're going to keep putting videos out and keep writing articles, working hard to make sure that you're well informed on this Sixers versus Celtics series. I'm Ray Boyd for uh, Brotherly Love Sports. Make sure you join us next time and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Have a good one.